Hi guys, welcome back to Mommy Vlogs. I know it's been a little bit. I've been busy and I just haven't been vlogging. But hey, we're back and I have some updates to share with you. So welcome to the gym. Um, so here with Baby Bum. We're checking in at about 29 weeks right now, which is just over seven months. So you can see Bump has grown quite a bit and I'm very, very much out there. Um, Bruno's here too, oh, good boy, oh, good boy. And we're just having a little family workout hour. We're taking a little break from computer work to come here and get physical, get moving, move out bodies. Um, so I have more updates to share with you, which will be coming soon. But um, in the meantime, enjoy the workout clips. <laughs> my prenatal yoga class. Me and Bump are gonna get our meditative state on. I love this class, so I can show you um, once I get there, but no filming inside. Seriously, Boo always says that I can't parallel park, but every time I go to yoga, I'm the best parallel parker ever. It's like, so good. He just never around to see that. Anyway, let's get our buns into yoga class now because class starts in five minutes so we gotta go we gotta run i'm some for some reason always late to this class but ugh, i guess you have excuses when you're pregnant things take longer like it really legitimately does take me longer to get dressed and tie my shoes or put shoes on because i have to bend over this thing but anyway no complaints it's not so weird all right, I'll show you the yoga studio. This is where Brad and I had our date night last night. It's right next to my yoga studio. And this right here is my little sanctuary. This is where I've been taking all my prenatal classes for the last like five months and I love it. Great time at yoga class. I just have loved that class so much ever since. I think I started taking it at two or maybe three months pregnant i think it was only two months pregnant i had no belly when i started this class and i felt weird even being in that class because i was like 
I know I'm pregnant, but it just doesn't look like it. But obviously now it looks like it. I fit right in with the rest of the crew. And I'm actually now in my third trimester, which many of them also are. So it's really nice to have that sense of community, other women who are going through the same feelings I'm going through. And a lot of them quite a bit worse, actually. They, We talk a little bit about how we're feeling through our pregnancy and I'm usually like, good. Everyone else is like sciatica, lower back pain, nausea you know, having trouble sleeping, a lot of issues going on, but I've been really lucky. Hi guys, I am just getting back from the grocery store. I meant to do some vlogging clips of like what I was buying at the grocery store, but then I ended up doing some Snapchat clips. So hopefully you're following me on Snapchat because I'm taking clips daily on there. So if you really want to keep up with my pregnancy, see what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, I am Snappy Jessie on Snapchat. And it's a fun way to connect and communicate. You can ask me questions there and follow what I do. So me and Baby Bump are just about to unload the groceries from Whole Foods and I'll show you inside what we picked and what we stocked up on. Um, today is Saturday. I'm also going to give you guys uh, some updates like I promised about the pregnancy and like everything that's been going on recently because I'm now seven, over seven months along. Wow, time flies. Okay, I'll see you inside. What a nice thing to come home to. I just brought the groceries in and Boo made breakfast. What's up, everybody? Yeah, say hi to the hubs. That's so nice. What do we and have? Clean the dishes. Oh my gosh. Could you get any sexier? No. And I got games. Maximum sexiness. Um, all right, so for breakfast, we're having some, it looks like a little like stir fry with some ground beef in it, right? And then some eggs and asparagus. Good. Oh wait, was that the rest of the asparagus? Because I actually needed some per recipe. Oh, I didn't use it all. Oh, you didn't? Okay, good. No, I did use it all. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll just take three of those pieces and save it. For a recipe, I just need three pieces of asparagus. All right, so in the grocery haul, we have some almond milk. I got two of these kind, one unsweetened vanilla, one unsweetened. Is this for your vlog or my vlog? Yeah, this is for my vlog. <laughs> You're doing a vlog too, huh? Um, you guys, we've started vlogging again, just so you know, on our other channel, like we used to do vlogs on BGTV, on but this one's actually on Lively. Yeah, it's going to be on the main channel. Yes. So if you watch Lively TV, which if you're not, you should, that's where we post all the best stuff. Um, you should subscribe there as well, because now we're going to start doing daily vlogs. Now that little bump is about to come out, we figure we want to document her whole life. Her whole life. It's going to be so fun. So I also got Nanners and some i'm trying this new type of granola never had this before but it looked good it has a nice ingredient list it's local so i'm trying that i got some eggs and what else some conditioner i actually really like this like hair product from whole foods it's like whole foods brand it's really good um i got some more soap for the shower we use this kind this is, I got the unscented instead of the peppermint, so is that cool with you? Yeah. Yeah, we have the peppermint right now, but it is kind of tingly. This one's unscented. Tingly on the bow. Tingly on the bow. <laughs> I, I don't have bows. Um, I also got some of this pre-marinated chicken. I was hoping you would grill this up for me. And then this is something I have not tried before, but I got this because if you watched my Snapchat, you saw I was like just drooling over that cherry pie. So instead of that, I found a healthier solution, something that's still cherry flavored, but sugar free and much lower in calories, zero calories actually. This is stevia sweetened cherry soda. <laughs> so then I can feel like I'm having a treat, but it's not damaging. I really wanted that pie though. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna put these groceries away. And then in a minute, we'll sit down and we'll go over my pregnancy updates. So stay tuned. Brew, you want that banana? <laughs> I had an entire another bag of groceries that I almost forgot about. I got some like Italian sausage for a recipe, cauliflower, all of this stuff is really basically for recipes. Um, broccoli, some like cabbage slaw type shredded stuff. This is awesome. It's really affordable and you can make like how many meals out of that? Like a lot of meals. Such an underrated food source. I love cabbage. This is the trail mix, and it's um this one, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called like go take a hike or something like that. Has mulberries, pistachios, cashews. I love this. 
and I've been feeling like I need more calories for a little bump lately, so I'm gonna add some trail mix to my diet. Um, some watermelon. And then I got these, we haven't even tried these yet before, but this is a brand of dark chocolate chips that is sweetened with stevia. So that should be cool for baking and snacks. <laughs> ready for the pregnancy update? Are you ready? Okay, Bruce joining us because he wants to tell you all about the bump and what's new and what's different. So welcome to the third trimester. Can you guys see? Okay, Bru wants to go down. All right. So a quick bump view here. This is what the bump is currently looking like at 29 weeks pregnant. We actually just passed the 21, 29 week mark, so we're going to week 30 now. Can't believe I'm in the third trimester. Time has flown so fast, it's unbelievable. Some updates this week are that our birth plan is changing. We still don't know exactly where we're gonna give birth or who's gonna deliver us. Long story short, it's been a big mess with the insurance compensation and all of that stuff. So we're trying to find the best plan that suits us financially, as well as like gives us the birth experience that we want. I'm really hoping that we find a secure birth plan within the next few weeks because it has been stressful on me just not knowing all these serious questions and already being seven months along. We thought we had a plan, things fell through, and now we're dealing with that mess. Like that's really the only thing that stressed me out during this pregnancy. Physically, I haven't had any issues and everything's been great um, between me and Brad and with the business and everything's cool. It's just if we could get that one thing taken care of, that would be awesome. So stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated as we move along and get closer because I'm sure we'll have things figured out within the next few weeks. So I am still working full time, that's right. I'm taking clients at the gym still, I'm taking clients online still, and I'm also still doing all the business stuff that keeps our online businesses running and going as well as creating new content. It's been a lot to manage along with pregnancy, but I think so far so good, and I still feel like I have good energy, even though just recently in this third trimester I am starting to get more tired, and it's starting to feel more like I felt in the first trimester where I needed like middle of the day naps and I needed to go to bed earlier. One thing I have noticed lately is if I don't eat a big enough dinner that I'll wake up in the middle of the night and like have to eat. So that's kind of a new sensation. <laughs> like the other night I was up at 3 a.m. and I just laid there. I was like, I really need to go to the kitchen, get something to eat. And I didn't want to, but I did. And then I fell asleep and it was much better. So now I've kind of learned just to have a little bit bigger dinner or maybe have like a snack after dinner and that will help me sleep through the night. So if you guys do want to see a video about what I've been eating during pregnancy, I actually just did a video about that on Lovely and TV. So I'll link that down below. You can watch that video. You see me eat all day from the first thing I eat all the way to the end of the day and kind of approximately how many calories I'm eating and what types of food I'm eating. It's all in that video. I'm also still working out regularly. I go to the gym at least four times a week and I lift weights. I'm doing things that are all safe for pregnancy all the exercises I'm doing will be included in my pregnancy program um, that I'm also writing that's going to be launching hopefully before the end of the pregnancy so within the next two months you should see that program ready to rock um, I'm really excited it's a lot of work but it's fun it's been fun to write and also it's good because it's helped give me like ideas of what to do during my pregnancy it's been awesome I've been going to prenatal yoga class one time per week and then almost every single day I go for a long walk with Brune Magoon we walk around our neighborhood up and down hills either to the beach or to this one path that we like we take a different route basically every day and it's nice to get that fresh air and get that movement and it's a nice break in the middle of the day so yeah that's kind of my fitness in a nutshell I'm pretty active like on a daily basis um, not intensely but you know just keeping my body moving just to stay healthy it's good my weight is up about 20 or 21 pounds now it's kind of funny because it started like I didn't gain weight for a long time and I was starting to get worried about it and then all of a sudden in the second trimester it blew up like 20 pounds and then since then I've stayed at that weight I think I've been now 20 pounds up for the last two months now so I'm wondering if it's just gonna stay for the rest of the pregnancy or if I'm gonna gain any more weight. I honestly don't check it that often, so I don't know if it was really like that, like a huge jump all at once, or if it just seemed that way because I don't measure that often. You know, it really, I'm not obsessed with weight and I don't weigh myself often because it really doesn't matter to me. It's nice to know that I'm in a normal weight gain range, but other than that, I'm not concerned. I'm fully confident that I'll get back to my, you know, pre-pregnancy weight after. And of course, you should stay tuned to watch my channel to see how I do it.
So far I've only had two cramps. I don't know if they were Braxton Hicks or not because they really didn't feel like the description of Braxton Hicks that I can find online. Usually they say Braxton Hicks will last about one to two minutes. The kind I had, one lasted 10 minutes and the other lasted 20 minutes. And it was really like just a low on the left side, a dull cramp that just kept on lasting. And the other thing I had that makes me think it may not have been Braxton Hicks is that I also had a hot flash at the same time. So I think it was just some kind of hormonal cramp related. It was fine. They passed. It's not that big a deal. The last one happened two weeks ago and then the first one happened one week before that. So I don't know if those are going to get more frequent or worse or whatever, but stay tuned to my channel because in the third trimester I'll try to update more frequently, especially as like exciting things like that start to happen. That's about it. I'm still sleeping well. I actually have a new pillow. I'm about to show you guys this new pillow because, you know, I had that one that my mom sewed that was like a pregnancy pillow. It was kind of like C shape, you know, had like a curve at the top and a curve at the bottom. That was great for a little while, but the seams were so sharp on it. It was kind of weird. We had issues with the fabric pulling and stuff and it felt like it was cutting into my neck and my leg. So we kind of like started it over and made a new pillow and this one is just like, we call it a Tootsie Roll because it just looks like a long roll and um, put a pillowcase on it and it's been perfect. It's just, I just need something to like hug and lay to the side. And my husband says that helps me with not snoring because when I snore, it keeps him up at night. If I'm laying flat on my back, I tend to snore, but on the side, it's great. I've been getting really good night's sleep. So I think that's been helping with my energy levels and everything. All right, so that's it for my seven month pregnancy update. Leave me any questions down below on anything you wanna know about what's going on or what it feels like to be this pregnant so far. I'm happy to answer your questions. I really appreciate you following my channel. Thanks so much for watching. See you at the next one. Bye.